AFTV, forget about, what was it, Storm Dennis? It was Storm Arsenal out there today. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got lyrics, man. I've got lyrics, man. I used to be an MC. You know what I mean? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I've got lyrics, right? But no, it was a, <laughs> it was a great performance, wasn't it? Storm, <laughs> Storm Arsenal in the, in the second half, Storm I'd say. Arsenal. Still in the second half, in the yeah. Second half. You've got to be honest, because, yeah, yeah. you know, the first, the first half an hour, you could tell they, they were on a break. You could tell that they didn't play. There was no intensity. We weren't moving the ball quick. And we were playing into Newcastle's hands. They were set up. They were the five, the four, and then one up front. We were struggling to get past them, you have to be honest. Mm. They had a few, you know, half chances, nothing clear. Had mm. a few corners, free kicks. All the things that Newcastle wanted to do in the first, you know, half an hour. Mm. Then we kind of switched on. Ozil started to move the ball, started to get on it. And the last 15 minutes of the first half, mm. you know, played a lot better. Came out second half, straight away you could tell we were going to get a goal soon. And Ketty, I just, I think he hit the bar, it just went over. Um, and then you could see that we were moving the ball quicker. Arteta must have said something to them at half time. Aubameyang scored a header, which is, you know, a change. He doesn't really score headers good a lot. header as well. It was a good direction on a header. Goal. And then, what, two or three minutes later, Pepe gets a, a good goal as well. Yeah. So that's what, that's 2-0, 15 minutes into the second half. Game's done, really, because mm. you can't see Newcastle coming back. But... You know, they had uh, that St. Maximum hit the post. Mm. Um, they had a few half chances, but Saka was just, you know, terrorising that. I, mm. I can't remember, is it Lorenzo was his name? Lazaro. Lazaro? Yeah. I don't know, the mm. right wing back. But he, Saka, all you want from a young player when they're thrown in the team is to take their chance. He's taking his chance. Mm. You, you, I don't think anyone here can say that he deserves to be dropped for Kolesnac, who's coming back, or Tierney. Mm. You know, which shows how well he's done in a position that maybe he's not used to. Mm. And then towards, you could tell towards the end of the game, it, you know, became a lot um, more exposed because Newcastle were trying to chase it. We had the quality. Newcastle were kind of, you know, a bit knackered. Saka, again, down that left-hand side, terrorised them even more. Lacazette came on, he got an assist, and then he scored. So that's even better for his confidence. And, you know, if, if we ignore the first half and just look at the second half, it was brilliant. Two clean sheets in a row now. When's the last time he did that? I can't really remember. And, you know, 4-0, four, four which means we're on positive goal difference mm. for a very long time in this season, which shows how poor we have actually been. Because mm. when's the last time you won 4-0 or something mm. like this? I think it was Bournemouth last season, to be honest. So it's about now finishing off this season strongly. Yeah. It's a good way to start after that break. Everton up next, West Ham. Obviously, we've got um, Europa League games against Olympiacos as well. It's all about going on a run now, isn't it? It is about going on a run, but it's also about, in the Europa League as well, make sure that you know, some of the players are still in the team. Because like today, I thought Sobias played really well, especially in that holding role. Like, I'm surprised that he hasn't played a lot this season. I know he's been injured, but even in the games where he's been fit, he hasn't, you know, started. Pepe, two assists and one goal. What, what more can you ask, you know, from that? And the only way we can get a run going is if the players become consistent and the players are like how they were in the second half, but every game, but start that from... Because if Newcastle were any better, so when we play Everton in uh, next week and we start how we started, Everton will probably punish us for that. You have to be serious. But if you know we keep going, Mustafi keeps playing well, Saka keeps playing well, Aubameyang again scoring as he always does, and Lacazette hopefully comes to form now, we'll have a good end to the season. But it's, it's in my opinion, it's too little, too late. But we're going to Olympiacos and we're on what 34 points now, and we're still tenth. Oh well.